Richard Hart went on Twitter here, Richard Hart on YouTube. I'm going to do a silly unboxing video of about $60,000 of like fashion stuff I bought over the last week. Here we go. Let's jump right in. It's nice when stuff matches. So like, look, flamboyant silk. I went with this green neon stuff. It's really like a mix of yellow and uh, green. It's kind of like fluorescent yellow. Not sure the exact color for it or name for it. This is uh, Comedie de Garçon, French. This is Louis Vuitton. And then you get them all to match so that you got like a whole set. Got all kinds of different stuff in here. <clears throat> Sandals. I don't even know what this is. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this stuff. But if I ever decide to, I mean, hey, it's worth at least one good photo shoot, right? Got a couple of these. Got a couple of these. Yeah, there's a lot of neon stuff. It's amazing how good that matches. It's like, perfect. Pretty happy about that. What's next? I don't know, Louis bags. So here's the problem. I've got like a bunch of these, like uh, seven of them or something, bigger, smaller and whatnot, but you don't know what's in them. So I don't know whether I should put some type of colored thing on the outside to tell what's in there or actually use these, which are irritating, right? Like how am I gonna get in there? Okay, what's in this bag? It's a little bit complicated, it's a little bit hard. So I never showed you guys the inside of these things. <clears throat> By the way, I wish I could remember the prices of all this stuff. These are probably like 2,000 US, my guess. Maybe more. Unlock thing, lock thing, code. Here's your handle deal. It's sturdy, because it's wide. Now, these are interesting in that and the big ones, it's this cloth on both sides. And when you open it, you know, nothing pours out, which is kind of cool. But it does, it would stop you from putting something larger in there. There you go. And then, uh, this is handy. Keeps your stuff from wrinkling, you know? Now, I've got to change rooms in some hours. So, I'm going to be filling this up. Same thing. Same thing, but smaller. Now this one, like, when they give them to you new, they come with this, uh, what is this, plastic on them? Cool. That's what you guys tune in for, right? Unboxing videos. Is there anything different about this little one? It's not much smaller. I mean, these are nearly identical. And you can tell this one's been sitting on the shelf a little bit longer because the leather's browned a little bit. Nearly the same. I don't know what the specification would need to be for them to make an ever so slightly smaller one. Yeah, the inside's all the same here. Now, if you want to see the little package they give you, Comes with instructions, the name tag, something that says coated fabric, cowhide leather trim, man-made lining. Most of this Louis stuff, the reason it's so durable is because it's actually not leather. It's like denim treated with some type of petroleum product, plastic, I think. So that's the reason this Louis Vuitton stuff tends to outlive leather. <clears throat> this is how you get delivered your keep all. This is a 55 millimeter keep all. 55 centimeter, sorry, keep all. And it's a little hexagon, isn't it? Not bad. And it kind of keeps these from being wrinkled and the edges are the parts that you want to keep straight. This will probably get filled up soon. So we might as well open it up. And here you get some fancy straps. I don't know the right, the right direction for this. You could either go inside out or you could go outside in. Now my guess is if something was gonna interact with this bag, it'd be more likely to be on the outside and so it'd be more armored if you had the sealed part outside. But if you guys wanna comment 
and let me know which direction is better. For now, I'm just gonna assume it's this way. This way is also convenient if I wanna add something to it. I can have it on me, I can just shove it in there, like a face mask perhaps. I hate losing stuff. Lost a thousand euro hat yesterday. Irritating. Bought another one, but hate, hate, hate losing stuff. And then this, I guess if it's so big that you can't like shut it, this ability to seal it with this little device here, maybe that uh, is what its feature is. I'm not exactly sure what this seal these two things shut feature is, but there you go. Oh, and these come with locks, which I don't know what's up with these because I never use them. I guess if you're worried about people shoving stuff in your luggage, then you could use these. Now, if you lose your key, you're screwed. These are numbered, and so <laughs> not one key will not open all the other ones. So I've got one bag that, like, I don't know where the key is. It just has a lock on it. The way that mechanism works is the zipper goes down and matches the other zipper. I don't know how close I can get, still get focus. And then the lock fits through the hole between the two. Which in this case, can I show it to you? No, I can't. Because I guess I'm not using it right. In this case, this one doesn't match. This one stays separate and uses one half of uh, each side of the lock. I have other ones that do mesh and like touch each other. Weird. Learn a new thing every day. <clears throat> now see this lock? I'm gonna put it in the pouch of this bag so that it doesn't get lost. And then eventually I'll probably decide to stop carrying them with me. But until that day, oh yeah, so there's a little pouch in here put stuff in. Here we go. <clears throat> what next? Let's finish off the Louis stuff, I guess. Got a new Louis tracksuit in here. This is different than the other Louis tracksuits I've got in that it's more laid back, it's more chill, and I don't think this one's reversible, so. Let me look at the price here. This was about 1,200 euros for the pants. Let's cut this off. What's in this little sticker they give you? That's French. This garment meets the highest demands and respects Louis Vuitton's of tradition. We recommend that you take great care of it. Okay. Cool. Ads. Don't need the ads. <clears throat> How much do they pay for the pants? No, oh, that that was the pants. Here's the jacket. The jacket was. Ooh. 1,500 euros, which is like $1,800, I guess. Really? Huh. Well, it's expensive. Let's cut these off. I guess I should... Yeah, this is not reversible. But it's more laid back, it's more chill. It doesn't yell at a distance. You're gonna have to be like super, super close to actually tell this is Louis Vuitton. So what was this in total? Like a $3,000 setup? More? It's so expensive, right? It's for a tracksuit? <clears throat> Get into the Louis stuff here. Oh, I showed you guys yesterday, but since I'm just sitting here. Oh, more neon stuff. This is a watch winder. I think this is like five or six thousand dollars. Maybe it was four thousand. I can't remember. Put your watch in there, rotates it. Anything that make Louis Vuitton makes, it's like a box. You're looking at three, four grand. It's silly. I don't know why. <clears throat> More neon stuff. This is slightly yellower. So if you look at the color match. It's not a perfect color match. This is more yellow, which sucks a little bit. 
I do wish it was a perfect match. This is fits, this fits a single credit card or ID, and then you're worried about it falling out. So scary to use these, pretty much. And then it jingles and rattles and stuff. So you really got to want the fashion to be able to endure the uh, the jingling. Wouldn't it be funny if my head was cut off for most of this video because I wasn't standing back far enough? I bet it was, and that will suck. But who likes my head anyway? This thing here, I was always mad that it didn't unscrew, but in fact it does unscrew. It actually pops open. So look, didn't know that. So don't know what you'd put in there. One day maybe I'll figure something out. Close enough to the neon that I might get it to play yellow. <clears throat> For reference, close. By the way, the lighting in here sucks. I hate LED lights. This is neat. <clears throat> Much of the stuff I have sitting in my set, it's not actually built for just sitting. This is actually built to just sit, so maybe I'll find something good to stick in there. Clear little plexiglass box. Got a Louis Vuitton face mask. This goes with a bag. Go grab that bag, actually. One moment. This, let's see how good this, uh, Remote speaker is. There we go. So this pattern looks like it goes with this pattern. See? Um, this is like a bandana, scarf thing, mask, and bag for it, I guess. Matching stuff, cool, fun. What next? Let's get into the Burberry. By the way, we're gonna, it's gonna get silly. So <clears throat> if you're gonna overpay for stuff and you're gonna do it to try and impress people that don't really have any fashion sense and just respect having spent a lot of money for something, well, you wanna get monogram stuff. So this is pretty obviously Versace. This is obviously Burberry. It's called a tartan pattern. This is a reversible raincoat. Do you have a price on your little buddy? Nope. I mean, basically everything's like a grand or two. So this is probably a grand, my guess. Let's reverse it. Actually, let's make this stuff useful and start actually taking off the excess crap from it. Scissors. No scissors. Well, maybe we won't unwrap it then. Here's the scissors. Cool. So it's nice when you're traveling to have the option to go money or not money. And on the not money side, we just have this little Burberry logo here. So tartan pattern. Tartan pattern. See? You can look like a giant optical illusion. Got these masks, but they try and rip your ears off, which is unfortunate. So, look at this. Ah! I like that it has a metal part here to actually like clamp so you don't get air up, but whatever. That's like an M slash L. They probably make an XL online. Would have been nice. This you guys have already seen. This is another reversible raincoat. Not as recognizable pattern, but still obviously Burberry reversible. Should we get into some crazy stuff? This is all kind of basic. Let's jump right into the madness. So here comes the madness. I was thinking to myself, what way can you make something that stands out the most? So let's say you want to make the safest car or the safest, I don't know, something. You want it to stand out the most. Well, you'd use Dayglow colors, which turn ultraviolet non-visible energy and transmute it and reflect visible energy. That's the reason Dayglow colors are a little brighter. They turn UV light into visible light. But they also make this cool reflective material that when light hits it straight on, it beams right back like stop signs or reflectors on a bicycle. What if you could combine them? 
And I thought, oh, well, that'd be great. I'd love to do that one day. I actually found a reflective day glow color thing from a designer named Chris Joy, I think. This thing looks awesome, like unbelievable. I should have opened this earlier actually because it fits with this whole neon theme. Let's check this out here. And I want you guys to see like the other baller stuff you're not supposed to see yet. So to like hide it out of frame. Oh, where are you jacket? There you are. Wait till you see this. Yeah, this is gonna be sick. All right, Chris Joy, reflective neon fluorescent yellow green. Now, how can I show you that it's reflective? I don't even know. Maybe if I hit it with a phone light? Let me try hitting it with a phone light. See if that does the trick. Phone light. It's probably not gonna do it. Is it? Nah, it's unlikely. I'd have to turn off the, uh, the other lights, I think, for you to see the reflection. It's too much work for me to turn the other lights off, guys, sorry. Let me turn my light back off. But if you take it, I'll take a picture of this, probably. When you hit it with a flash, maybe I can do that with my camera actually. Let me see, can I, can I show you this real quick? Off screen, picture, and then show the camera the picture. Let's try it. Needs the flash. Wow, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show this to you. Look at this. That's what it looks like when you hit it with a reflection. See if you can see that in the camera. Look at how sick that is. Fluorescent, neon, yellow, green, reflective. And they make this in other colors too. Like this guy's really smart. It might not be a guy, or a girl, I don't know. I can't believe I got a neon yellow, color matching, reflective, just awesome, 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 awesome. I thought I'd have to invent it. I thought that would be like a breakthrough. It comes with color squares too. So you can see what other colors they have it in. Check that out. So smart. You don't have to wonder what other colors exist. You can just look. Apparently they had a red one at the store too, so this isn't a complete complete uh, listing. This fabric is made of glass spheres. Oh, you guys probably can't hear me when I zip, zip up the mic. This fabric is made of glass spheres which reflect with light and make the fabric reflective. The difference in color between one jacket and the other is a distinctive feature of the fabric. Epic. So epic. What did this cost? 1,500 euros. So like $1,800. Nice. So kick ass. So kick ass. Very, very happy with this one. So I've got this whole neon thing like rocked. This neon thing is rocked hard. Next Instagram post, maybe it's this terrible unboxing stream. Sorry guys. Um, but maybe it's like a photo with all this neon stuff. Very cool. And since we're doing the madness, we're just going to keep it up. Here comes the next little mad part. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going to use this. So this is a brand. Should I switch brands already? Yeah. Looks like Burberry got cut off in the middle. Oh, well, we'll get back to them. So <laughs> this was like, how much money was this? I think this was like $5,500. I mean, I know it was 4,500 euros, so.
I love things that scream at a distance because there's only two ways to really do fashion in my opinion. You either get something that looks good or you get something that's obviously expensive and punches hard. You get a different kind of respect. You get money respect instead of like fashion shape respect. And as a giant blob, I kind of tend towards the, the money respect stuff because I make the clothes look bad anyway. So here we go. This thing is insane. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. And I wish the lighting was better. I need, I need to buy portable lights. This hotel room light sucks so bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be funny. Here's a sticker. Anything interesting on the sticker? God, this is expensive. Yeah. So, one, it's reversible. Now, what's neat is this is reversible and so is this. So, these are ball main items and they're both reversible. Same pattern. These might actually be the exact same. Uh, very almost the same material. Almost. And these reversible patterns, this has a little bit more of a gray kick, this has a little bit more of a silver kick. And then I got, wait till you see this. Oh, it's gonna be funny. I think I'm gonna have to take a trip to Siberia. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> By the way, this is warm. Like it's melting my back right now, it's so hot. And I just put it on. Crazy. I know that sounds great. I hope the lapel mic is enjoying it. Oh, ah. eh, whatever. I'm gonna plug this one all the way up. <laughs> oh, okay, it's really hot in here. Oh my god. Oh, it's hot. Way too hot. Way too hot. Oh, jeez. This thing, man. Killer. Totally killer. Good luck trying to outball me in a cold climate with that thing, man. That thing is sick. As it should be for $5,500, right? What is this? What is this? Ball main. Oh, okay. Face mask. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a pin holding it. Ouch! Stab myself right with a pin like a genius. I don't think this is directional. Let's make sure. Ball main logos tend to have closed top. This is a closed top, or is it this? Let's match it. This is the top. Let's take a sample little square here. Opening bottom left. Huh. Well, it's sideways. No. Opening bottom left versus not bottom left, it will be this way. Oh, but yeah, I think they'd reverse back and forth, so. I don't think this is actually directional. I'm just going to go with sticker on whatever side it is. Now it looks like I'm talking through a sock, but at least it's not ripping my ears off, so that's a plus. So what do we got now? Matching mask. Jacket. They had, yeah. I wonder if I should've got the darker mask. They had one with a slightly darker non-white. I wonder if it would've matched this better. I'll take a look into that. And it would definitely match this better. Cause this is darker a little bit. And I have a hat. I know I have a hat to go with this somewhere. There we go.
That's what I'm talking about. Let's take the sticker off. If you were my scissors, where would you be? You would be here. Don't cut my soap, boy. Is the wrong size? Am I stupid or something? Oh! An optical illusion. There we go. I'm curious what that looks like at home. I'm an optical illusion, an overpriced one. Nice. Man, that actually looks pretty killer. That actually looks pretty killer. Not bad, sir. Not bad at all. Nice. this hat. I guess it fits. I remember being looser. Hmm. Get rid of this pin. Hat. Hmm. Well, I won't troubleshoot it here. It's a little bit tight. Yeah, go look into this. Oh, seems looser now. Oh, great. Okay. Never mind. It's all right. I just didn't loosen it up the right way. The mechanism, sweet. Apparently I look a lot younger with a hat. Is it true? Do I look younger? Blue steel. So, let's keep digging in. What is this? Shirts? What is this? Ah, pants. These are, uh, I think these are Balmain pants. Nope, these are Givenchy pants. So look at how similar their patterns are. Look at these two patterns. This is Balmain. This is Givenchy. So similar. Very, very similar. I got enough Givenchy stuff I can find something to wear that with. I, put the, I wish I could just safely put these scissors in my pocket because looking for them is irritating. All right, let's dig in. Here's some Philip Pline stuff. Let me cut some stickers off of these. Take a look at what we got here. We've got, uh, ooh, look, fancy, a girl butt shirt. I don't, since I'm moving out of this room, I don't want to like unwrap all these. These are gonna stay as they are. And this is a big Philip Pine logo 
with a sparkly dude with dollar signs in his eyes. This is a big skull in orange. I think you guys have seen this in silver before. You know what? I'm not gonna do this justice without like letting it roll out. Looks cool. Cool. Now I've gotta roll it back up. You can do it, little buddy. Go back to your home. There we go. And then this one's a credit card. Skull on it. Probably some dollar sign somewhere. Maybe not. I think these are like thousand euros each new. And they are new, but they're like on clearance sale. And since I'm 3XL on shirts, that's all they had. Um, I think I got these half off, I think. So I think these are like $600 each. That's all I got from these guys. These are my old shoes. I wore these fancy ones out of the store. Oh, for you guys that care, what comes with Philip Klein stuff? And these are important actually. They come with extra little glitter things show you this here. They come with a little ad. Prosperity, strength, devotion. Pline, cool. Switzerland, great. And then uh, they come with little sparkles. So don't lose your little extra pack here. You don't want to lose your sparkles. I don't need the rest of this stuff. I do need the sparkles. So let's get rid of everything except the sparkles. And it's kind of handy that it tells you what shirt is assigned to the sparkles as well. So useful. I'm just gonna check to make sure I'm not out of videotape or anything. Nope, doing all right. Looks okay, other than probably my head's cut off in most of this. But who wanted to see that thing anyway? This consumerism, boy, does it make a mess. More Burberry. What do we got here? Bunch of masks that tear your ears off. Maybe I'll get lucky and one of these will be a bigger size. Nope, medium large, wrecked. I guess these will become gifts. And a different color in here too, for you people that don't have big heads. So this is like a little bit brighter. This one's more standard. in here oh you guys will like this someone on live stream was saying asking me whether I would get the uh, Bitcoin bear a friend and so lo and behold to keep the Louis Vuitton Bitcoin bear a friend I got a Burberry Bitcoin bear maybe this will be an ethereum bear I haven't decided yet maybe this will be an ethereum bear that thinks that the Ethereum tops in. Yep, but there you go. <laughs> hey, we waste money properly around here. Coming to a live stream near you. Maybe, a, maybe for a screenshot, let's put the Ethereum bear. <laughs> Hilarious. Maybe. We should keep this box. How durable is this bear, I wonder? I don't know. 
I'll think on it. Come here, Mr. Bear. You have to live somewhere I won't forget you. This buying stuff takes a lot of time. Ugh, I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. They look cool, though. God, what is all this stuff? Ouch! <laughs> Second pin stabbing in one stream. I don't think I need any of this. No, I don't need any of this crap. This is all gonna go in the garbage. Let me grab the rest of them. Don't stab me again, please. Okay. I guess part of the unboxing video is the box, but fine. Okay, here, look. Box. Prada. 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 Cool. So this, this was interesting to me in that when you overpay for textiles, goods, clothes, most of what you're overpay for is these badges. So, oh, you can't see my head? Who cares about my head? Here. So here we've got Prada, Prada, and Prada, and three different types with a different leather. It's chrome, shiny patent leather, and they're, I think, like old school pressed waxed leather here. I don't know where I'm gonna use these, but I know that being able to buy the, the brand directly for like two or 300 bucks is good. I think these are 240 dollars each. So to be able to get the core of the brand, the logo, the thing that people care about most that you can just stick wherever you want, preferably on other goods from the same manufacturer to like be legit. I think that's just great. So for instance, if I could just get like, you know, I guess that's kind of what Louis Vuitton bag charms are very similar mechanism. And then we'll get in here and I'll show you how this works. So here's your pin that you stab yourself with on live stream. And then you put it in this little slot top here and you seal it shut and now it's locked in there so oh, these are cool for some reason no one in europe has my size shoe i wear a 46 absolutely no one has anything and so i end up with a very very small selection of shoes regrettable particularly when i like didn't bring many because i assumed i'd be buying a lot of stuff i thought this perfume smelled good prada black i thought this perfume smelled good Prada Soleil au Zenith. Okay. Spices. I thought these smelled good. It comes with a carrying case. Okay. So let's use it. Okay, carrying case. Oh, wow. This looks actually uh, pretty fancy. This is the carrying case for this perfume. Well, let's dig in. Oh, upside down, cool. Look how fancy, look at that, fancy. And this has the same kind of patent leather pattern to it. Does it smell like anything yet? Ooh, it's magnetic. See it? Self-sealing. Okay. So now, I think this carrying case is gonna be really easy to use. Boop. Nice. All right. Nice box. Check out the gold. Some of these boxes are killer. Here. This is the Prada Black. Remove before use. I'm going to leave that because I think it's just otherwise going to spray everywhere. 
There you go. What else? What's in here? Mm. Meh. I guess I'll show you some of this Gucci stuff and then we'll call it. Uh. Gucci boots. Goes good with this Gucci stuff. I like it. <laughs> This stuff's all so expensive. You'd be very surprised at what this cost. I love shirts that have these shoulder things. They look great. This also has a reflective deal on it. Love it. It draws attention from everything that sucks about my body to the parts that are really nice. Um, the shoulders, haha. <laughs> so this shirt's fabulous. These are cool. Denim is super, super reliable and durable. So this, here, let's take a look here. So these are all denim. Everything you're looking at here is denim. This jacket is reversible, but has a leather neck, collar, and it's very similar to this jacket, which has the same green on the other side as the one I'm about to show you. Here's one that's like clown mode and I have a bag to go with it. Don't know where that bag is sitting right now. Pants, pants. Can you imagine if I actually tried things on how long this would take? It would take forever. Shirt. I'm gonna go grab that other jacket. There we go. So this is a jacket I was wearing in Tallinn, Estonia. I wonder if these greens are the exact same or slightly different. Let's take a look. Okay. So this is this green. Where's the other jacket? Here. I guess that's the funny part about wearing everything that's monogrammed is you can't tell what's pants and where one thing stops and one thing starts. Oh, no, they're totally different. Maybe I'm reversing the wrong one. Yeah, I'm reversing the wrong one. They are totally the same. So this clown mode one has the same green side as this one. Now the fits are different. This is like a 48. This is like a 50. I usually wear a 56. So there's a lot of stuff that's super, super, super oversized. Um, so you have to try everything on. Louis Vuitton hat for you. This was like $1,300. Looking young. How's it going, everybody? And uh, the cool stuff. Well, I guess. There's another Burberry jacket. Louis Vuitton shirt. Oh, we're almost out of stuff, thank goodness. You people that just care about crypto are going to be like, Richard, what are you doing, bro? We don't care about your $60,000 shopping spree and clothes, mate. Do you want to see what this looks like? This. This is not reversible. I don't think. Is it? No. I got to clean all this up. Man, this is going to suck. These are neat. These are like velvet Montclair sweatpants. They feel cool. Feels like a pool table, you know, soft pool table. Burberry shirt. This one's neat. This is a uh, Versace. Love the buttons on these. Very nice. Color, denim, loving the denim, durable. Is that it? It's probably not it, but it's enough. It's enough for now. Anyway, hex.com, pulsechain.com, richardhart.com, 
t.me forward slash scivive. Free books, free chat, free videos. Richard Hart went on Twitter, Richard Hart official on Instagram. Please follow me. I want to get more followers there. And what else? YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Richard Hart. Hope you enjoyed this little unboxing deal. I have to endure all the suck of packing all this stuff now. So that's not going to be any fun at all, is it? No, it's not. That it? I think that's it. Um, by the way, hex price looks like it's almost into all time highs and I keep seeing the devs making wonderful progress in the testnet pulse chain chat. So I'm very happy. See you later, everybody.